Hi there, this is Doris Spender from Library Arts. I want to thank you for joining me. Today, we are going to explore making a beautiful rainbow mosaic from red to orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. We're going to do the rainbow using mosaics in this really delightful sun catcher. So let's get started by talking about rainbows and colors, and then we'll get on to the materials and the process. Okay, I'll see you in a moment. Who doesn't love a rainbow? Whether in the sky, lined up as a drawing with clouds, or even standing in the light of a rainbow like this gentleman is here. So when we look at the rainbow, we basically have colors that are very recognizable. Red, yellow, and blue are what we call our primary colors. So there's a primary. Those are the colors that we use to mix the next group of colors, which would be orange, green, purple, or violet. And those are called our secondary colors. Primary colors are the colors you use to mix all the other colors. So if you want a green, most children will know early on that you need a yellow plus a blue to get that green. If you want a purple, you want a red plus a blue to get that purple. And finally, if you want an orange, you need a yellow plus a red. So today we're gonna to use the primary and secondary colors to create a really fun rainbow. Let's go ahead and get started by going over the materials and we'll move on from there. See you in a moment. Okay, let's go over the materials for your rainbow mosaic today. First of all, you're gonna have a frame. Now the window here is where the mosaic is going to go on top of this. This is a plexiglass window. It can crack, it can break just like glass, but it's not glass, okay? So this is the back where you see the pins. That's gonna be the back of your mosaic. And we're gonna be working on the front. So you may have a black or a white frame. Don't be concerned if you see a little line in the plastic appeal probably a hot glue string, and occasionally you may see a little bit of the hot glue in the corners of the frame. Not to worry about that either. The, the glass, the plexiglass is secured with hot glue and by pressing these pins down. So do not put pressure on this by pressing hard. It can crack the plastic, just be aware. Uh, the next thing you're gonna have is you're going to have a bag of beautiful mosaics in the rainbow colors. And finally, you're gonna have some clear glue and a glue applicator. Now that we've gone over all the materials, I would just suggest you have a uh, tabletop that's clean, maybe a little white paper where you can practice designs on, and the glue can get sticky, so maybe a baby wipe or two would be helpful. So let's go ahead and get started by sorting our mosaics in the next video. See you in a moment. Okay, so we're gonna sort the mosaics momentarily, but my recommendation, but you don't have to do this, is that you cut yourself a piece of paper, just get some scrap paper to practice your different rainbow designs on. This paper is about six and a half by four and a half inches, and it just allows you to see how the mosaics will fit into your design. But before we do that, or use that paper, I'm going to open up my bag and just dump my mosaics on my work surface, which is just happens to be a paper towel. So then what I like to do, and I, and I actually see a lot of people who do this mosaic with me, they just tend to like to do this, is I like to go ahead and separate my colors into piles so I can see what I have to work with. So I made sure everybody got all the rainbow colors with their mosaics, whether it be through glass stones, or uh, glass pieces like this, these interesting uh, cuboid pieces. Um, you have all the colors, purples, reds, oranges, yellows, so this is more red. And I want, just want you to have fun. It's actually pretty relaxing sorting all your colors out. So when your colors are all sorted out on a surface that you plan to work, uh, work on and keep your space in the center open once you've sorted it all, then you're gonna be ready to work on a design. So go ahead and sort your mosaics and I'll see you back here in a moment or two. Okay, as you see here, I have uh, separated my mosaics into color piles. 
I didn't do it in the rainbow order. I just separated them by hue. Blues, greens, my reds are down here. A little out of sight, but they're there. Now in the middle here, I'm going to move some of the mosaics out of the way just so I can fit my frame. Now that's how much room I'm gonna need for my frame. I don't actually need it right this second, so I want to do some planning with my paper first. So here's my paper, and again, it's just that that paper I told you the measurements for earlier, and it's totally optional to use this. You may want to work directly on the picture frame, and that's okay too. So remember our color discussion was red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Basically, they call that Roy, red, orange, yellow, G, green, Biv, blue, and violet. So let's start with the red. And I'm going to use some different reds here. I think I might even throw in some gems. And then this is just practice. I'm not gluing anything down here. So that would be my red. And then Roy, red, orange. So orange would be next. And I'm just, I like the idea of going diagonally across the um, frame, but you might want to do it a different way. Maybe you want to do it like arches across and you don't want to do it the way I'm doing it and that's okay if that's how you want to do it or maybe I'll bring one down here and put these closer together just so I can see what I might do on my frame so that would be orange now we're going to go into yellow so here is some yellow going across my picture here and then I can even decide, well, I think it's a little too much space. Well, I'm going to put an orange here and leave that other orange off and take these off. And let's see how my yellow fits if I do it like this. So you can just play around to see what you like. I have some gems, little gems here, medium to large size gems. So there's my Roy, red, orange, yellow. G would be green, and this is where I wanna kind of play up these really pretty stick, glass sticks here, followed by my green um, glass pieces. And then of course I have some really fun green gems I think I want to stick in there so again I'm just trying this idea out and what I want you to do is try an idea or two out and then you can see which one you like better like maybe you want to do stripes stripes would be awesome like straight stripes or vertical stripes you could do that so here's G and so there'll be Roy G Biv means blue so now I'm going to introduce I have an aqua blue and I have a dark blue. So I'm gonna to have to space these a little bit, maybe put a few of these um, blue gems in between to help space them out. Then I have these blues. I have light blues and dark blues. So I might wanna make a bit of a pattern there if I can or not. Maybe I'll put another blue here, a few more blues, just trying ideas. I could change it up. And then of course I have the violet. So I'm gonna get some gems in here. And I think I'm gonna do something like this, but the ultimate design may change, but this is the way you can plan it out in advance to see what you have and what will fit. And these little gems are great for filling in those little, little spaces that are tough to fill. So there's an example of what one might do as a design. Now, if I like that, what I can do, if I say, oh yeah, yeah, that's what I wanna do. I can simply pull that paper gently down out of the way towards my red mosaics and things will shift a little bit, but then that gives me room for my frame. And then I can go right into transferring the work onto the frame. Okay, so play around with your ideas, try some things out, and then when we come back, we'll start gluing. Okay, we're finally ready for gluing, so you're gonna need that cup of glue, that cup of clear glue that I gave you, and you're gonna need your um, 
craft stick. Now there's two ways to do it. You can uh, simply pick up each piece, put glue on the back and set it down. Another way to do it, which is kind of the way I'm gonna do it, I like to pour some glue, and this is a clear glue. I wanna make sure it goes all over my frame. And again, this is the top of the frame. We're not doing this on the back, we're doing it on the top. And I'm being generous with my glue. And I'm just using my stick to make almost like a water puddle all over my frame. Obviously the glue's gonna dry clear, so that's great. And now I can simply start placing my pieces in the glue. I don't have to pick each up each one and try to put glue on the back of the piece, especially if I make sure my glue goes right to the edge. So I'm gonna put my glue stick away and I'm gonna start my transfer because I really like the design I came up with before, so I think I'm gonna stick with that. So it's right below my frame here. And remember, we started with the red for the Roy, the red, orange, yellow. And I put a few gems in here. And sometimes those gems are a little tricky to pick up, but you actually get less glue on your hands doing it this way because you're simply transferring and I think I have room for a couple more gems here, so I'm just gonna put one. You're simply transferring the gems onto the plexi, like that. Now, if I wanted to, I probably could have shoehorned another uh, glass rock in, but I didn't want to. So Roy, red, orange. So now we're gonna go to our orange. And I kinda like mixing up. I could have had all orange stones here, but I like these tiles coming in here they add a fun textural change. They're not all the same type of mosaic, which I like. And we're just going to, I, I remember checking before, I didn't have enough orange in my bag to make a complete arch. So that I decided to go right into the Y for Rory, which is the yellow. And the, these gems honestly are almost like a yellow orange, but that doesn't bother me because it's right next to, um, the orange, so that's kind of cool, I think, and a design that I can kind of like. So I'm gonna do that right there. So that's my red, orange, yellow. Roy is right here. G is going to be the green. Now, what I like to do, as I said earlier, is I like the idea of putting these matchstick shapes in here because I just love the way they look. I don't know if I have room for a rock, so I'm gonna put a few gems in between the rocks, I mean the uh, sticks here, and I'm trying to keep this arch going. And as long as the green, I'm sorry, the glue is wet, you can continue to add your mosaics. I wouldn't walk away and then think that you could come back and add them without adding more um, glue. But while the glue is wet, you can just continue to add your mosaics and end up with a really cool design. Now, if that happens really quick, you can take a pencil like that, or you can take um, tweezers or your, your even your craft stick to um, just push it over. So I'm gonna keep working with my design and I'm gonna finish it up. And then when I come back, I'll show you how my design looks completed. I wish I could see yours, but obviously I can't, but you'll see mine in a few minutes. Have fun putting your mosaics on and I'll talk to you in a minute. Okay, how did your mosaic turn out? I just love the way mine looks. It's beautiful and when it's completely dry, I can stand it up. Now you're likely to have a few extra mosaics left over. I put mine back in my bag so I can save them for a future project. Another thing that you can do that's fun, if you wish, is you may want to take some of your gems that are left over. I have a few purples here and you could make a design with those gems. Like I have some light purple, dark purple, and maybe I'll put a light purple and a dark purple here. And you can just attach those with a little bit of glue. I would not suggest standing up these pieces here. I think laying flat, they're gonna do much better. If I think if they uh, stand up, it's gonna be a problem. 
and let this dry completely overnight. Really let that glue set up. Find a sunny window. The, the thickness of the frame allows you to stand it up on its side or vertically if you want. And I think you have the perfect rainbow mosaic that is just so fun to make, so easy, and will brighten up any room in your house. So this is Doris Benter. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you soon. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay creative, and I'll see you soon.